Hello everybody, uh, welcome to uh, my channel. Today we're going to discuss about randomized context block design using X, uh, XPDS or experimental design package in our software. And you have to load this package if you haven't, but oh, I already have this package, so no need to install or load it, then uh, call using the library function. And the model for the randomized complete block design uh, for the EXPDES package is look like. So if you want to compute the RBD, so you have to use uh, uh, RBD function, then it's followed by treatment, then followed by the block, then followed by the column that containing the response variable, and quality, which is equal to true, means we uh, are assuming that our treatment is a qualitative like variety. Uh, or anything that is uh, described by uh, letter. And here is the multi component, it is the uh, multiple comparison. There are a number of multiple uh, comparison ways like Taki, like Duncan, like Student Newman, Kelly's test, like uh, least significance difference, as you can see here. All our, uh, these methods are uh, used for multiple uh, comparison tests using the expds uh, package so you can uh, select on the basis of your preference and uh, on the basis of your criteria then again uh, it's followed by the uh, nl so nl is equal to false uh, which is the default so nl is equal to false means this uh, linear regression model is adjusted and uh, while n l is equal to true, we are telling to R uh, for then linear uh, regression models are adjusted. Then again, it's followed by HVAR. HVAR stands for the uh, homogeneity of variance. So there are a number of homogeneity of variance like uh, this one, like Bartlett test, like Levin test. Yeah, as you can uh, see here, layered hand. And all these are methods for checking equal variance among the groups. Then it's followed by the signet T. So uh, this significance T means it helps to compare to set the alpha level for the uh, significance or multiple comparison, while the uh, SIG or significance F is assumed is assumed for the uh, or allowing to check the F test of the ANOVA. So 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 for both are the default uh, method. And let's import uh, our data. Our data is found in the desktop in the form of CSV. Yeah, yeah in the desktop. Then RCV, this one. Yeah. So as you can see here, here is the genotype and the column two replication starting from column uh, three uh, in with uh, column seventeen are response uh, variables, but exceptionally the last column is a numerical or treatment is a numerical while the first one is the genotype is around thirteen genotypes, so it's considered as what as a uh, a, a qualitative uh, treatment. Then let's analyze our data. So attach the RCVD using the attach function. Then you have to use RBD function. Then genotype is our treatment, our treatment which is a qualitative. So we will see the qualitative one. Then followed by replication, followed by pH, pH which stands for the response variable plant height. Then it is followed by the quality, which is also true, means our treatment is qualitative. Yeah, it is qualitative, so you have to say it's also true. Then the method of comparison is tacky, then and it's also false, and method of um, of variance is the uh, one Lee Matthew, then this one. So type this and send it to our studio. Then you will get all this information. Yeah. So these are the target test, 
and uh, there is no statistically significant difference uh, for all uh, for most except uh, genotype 30. Yeah. And again, also you can get the regressions, the, the CV, yeah, like this way. Again, also there is a, a normality. As you can see here, is the normality 0 0.004, which means uh, the residual cannot be considered as a normal, or the assumption of normality is uh, violated. While in the case of the the homogeneity of variance test, which is 0 0.06. This is greater than 0.05, so it's not significant. Non significant means it's going to be uh, the equal variance is exists among the groups and it is uh, homo scedastic. And even the CV is uh, good, which is uh, 8.35, and here is uh, p value 0.02, which is significant. So you can get uh, all this information. And moreover, uh, if you want to change into SNK means, uh, it is a student uh, Kalus test, a student, student Newman uh, Kalus test. Yeah, SNK is this one. So student Newman Kalus test. So again, you have to use uh, SNK and if you want to check the homogeneity of variance using instead of uh, one ill uh, Matthew, you have to use uh, Hans Kombetaki Hans Kombetaki method. So you can specify this one and send it to our studio. Then you will get a similar result. So this one still it is 0 0.9. So this is almost catastrophic, but there is problem of normality and you can continue uh, for the least significant difference and for the rest one then the last uh, for this trial is if our treatment is qualitative so the multiple comparison and the multiple comparison as well as the significance T is not uh, working. So nitrogen, the reason why I'm incorporating nitrogen in our data is to check if the quantitative type of treatment is working. So uh, when I feed the value here is nitrogen, then replication is implanted, and qualitative, I, 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 I made it into what? Into false instead of true. So I'm telling to R, my treatment is a quantitative then LSD and all the remaining thing. But unfortunately we will we will not we won't get uh, the mean separation like this one. Yeah. So you can't get you can't get any mean comparison. So it is best uh, this package is best for qualitative uh, type of treatment. So you can uh, represent your treatment if it's numeric into uh, qualitative. So this is uh, all about today's tutorial regarding to randomized complete block design in EXPDS package. So I will come up with other uh, experimental design in the next tutorial. Until then, have a nice time.